and he facilitated the growth of research and now he's leading it leading the implementation recently he put, he did the opening ceremony of the first set of books that came out of the book development group I'm a member of the technical advisory group of TED Fund. Um, I belong to the book development. I've been there. This is my third or fourth year there now. And since we have been, we have not published any book. Until he came and gave the marching orders. He's somebody who doesn't believe in half measures. If he wants it, it's like he wants it done yesterday. You know what that means? And, um, and if you observe in our campuses, there has been a lot of developments going on. Both in the colleges of education, the polytechnics and the universities, he's commissioned a lot of buildings. They've awarded a lot of buildings. Massive development is going on. And then research grants, academicians are able to assess research grants. And all this is not restricted to the federal universities alone, but extends to the state universities. I will not talk much about that because the recognition we are giving him today is for his activities as permanent secretaries. One of the most outstanding permanent secretaries education that this country has produced. Can I call on Agitha Swani, S-T-O-T-O-N-E, O-O-N-F-N-A-I, to rise to his feet and remain standing, sir. Sir. And I call on Professor Aguba, uh, fellow Naeb, to read the citation. Madam President, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I have a very big task on my hand because defining the personality of architect Sonny Antonio, the executive secretary of Ed Fund, is like six blind men that have been asked to define an elephant. Each will definitely define the elephant from the standpoint of where he has touched. The distinguished ladies and gentlemen, this is a man who had his education here in Nigeria with flying colors. This is a man with the advent of procurement reforms in Nigeria was among the first set of civil servants deployed to the project monitoring and price intelligence unit or due process. He has always been his next step is due process. By 2016, he was appointed head of Team A with responsibility for procurement review and certification of projects for ministries of works and housing, FCT administration, transport, state house, defense, police, and all the security agencies. A fellow police civil servant. With 35 years of exemplary service, 35 years. <laughs> Akhtar Jetono enjoys the admiration and respect of his peers and colleagues. During the period, he has been at the epicenter of policy formulation and reforms in the Nigerian civil service and its agencies. And also, this is consequential but today we are talking about reforms, we are talking about policies. Akinaf Sunday, HR was appointed as permanent secretary in the Federal Civil Service in October 2014. Since 2014, he has remained federal permanent secretary. He served as permanent secretary in the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, 2014 to 2015, Federal Ministry of Communications. 2015 to 2017, and Federal Ministry of Education from 2017 to January 2022. Before then, he had already served as a director, procurement, 
in five key ministries, namely defense, water resources, environment, agriculture and rural development, as well as power. He was appointed as every secretary, tertiary education transfer, transfer in March 2022. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, when you hear that he was appointed this year, third one is safety secretary. You may be surprised because his name is already larger than life. You would think that he has been there a period ago. A round of applause for this gentleman. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, his service to the profession of architecture in Nigeria is equally very impressive. From being secretary of the admissions committee in 1991, he rose to the position of honorary general secretary in November 2001. He chaired the disciplinary committee of the institutes for two successive terms from 2009 to 2013, where he was elected to the position of third vice president. He attained the pinnacle of the profession, that is architecture, where he was elected and held the position of 28th president of the Nigerian Institute of Architects from 29 to 2021. A round of applause, please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he also served on several boards and councils, including, but not limited to, Board of Architectural Education in Nigeria, Architects Registration Council of Nigeria, National Environmental Standards, Regulations, Enforcement, and Administration, International Institute for Tropical Agriculture, Nigerian Postal Service, Universal Basic Education Commission, UBEC, Tertiary Education Transform, Global Partnership for Education, ETC. He attended several management courses and workshops at top institutions across the globe, including University of Bradford, UK, Oxford University, UK, University of Cambridge, UK, Japan International Cooperation Agency, Japan, to mention but a few. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this man standard is a fellow of the Nigerian Institute of Architects, founding member and trustee of the Procurement Professionals Association of Nigeria. He is the recipient of several awards of excellence and commendation by the federal government as well as professional and management institutions. He is widely traveled and has presented over 40 papers at national and international forum. Architect Sunday Siva Togo Echano is married with children. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, from this brief resume we have submitted, you can agree with me that this man is a man of all. How to do? Architect Sunday S.T. Echano, O O N F N I A. Our big masculine he has come out into the arena. On behalf of Sunday, SD, a channel, O O N F N I A, F N E A P.
other members of the National Executive of the Nigerian Association for Educational Administration and Planning, members of the College of Fellows, members of the Board of Trustees, our very distinguished members here are present, the resource persons, the representative of the Honorable Minister of Education here are present, and in no particular order, the gentleman of the press. Gentlemen. Madam President, I join my elder sister in saying, or expressing my surprise but deep appreciation of being considered worthy of being a kind of honorary fellow of your association. I am particularly proud of this honor for the simple reason that I believe one of the critical challenges that we face in the education sector today is how to renew, how to re-establish the culture of planning in the sector. And I also strongly believe that those who are saddled with the responsibility of managing institutions within the sector ought not to only have the academic qualifications to do so, but also be professionally grounded in the do's and don'ts, in the ethics, in the culture and responsibilities of holding office. That is why, even as our dear sister will be leaving office, I want to charge her successor to broaden and deepen the involvement of his association in our national affairs, but particularly the education sector. I'm pleased to inform you that the federal government has approved a career path policy. And within that career path policy for educators is the need for those who will choose the path of educational administration to have special skills home and acquire special knowledge in this specific area, which is where your association, as well as the Empire based in Ondo, have a critical role to play. And you should start from going the basic level if you want to be a headmaster of the primary school, if you want to be a principal of a secondary school or vice principal of the case. You must have gone through some form of tutelage and pupilage and grooming by this association. So that we can also hold them accountable and through your code of ethics, you can actually exercise disciplinary as well as other sanctions that will be at play when they deviate from the norms and the standards that you expect in terms of their conduct and behavior. I am also of the opinion that if we do this and take it all through the education tree, my predecessor today, our former uh, everything, because we have a DC, tomorrow commissioner, and then a leading resource person in our sector. As he did say, we've always made the point that teaching at any level goes beyond having the knowledge available to you. The mode and form of delivery is almost as important as the knowledge itself. And today, because the knowledge is actually available on Google. It's on the internet. There are open learning resources available. Greater attention is being paid to the facilitating role of the teacher in how you can guide, how you can impact, how you can encourage, 
and how you can facilitate the acquisition of this knowledge, as well as the molding of character, which is why our tertiary institutions also, when they issue degrees, they find you worthy not only in learning, but also in character. And the absence or the lack of emphasis on character building, on influencing, is part of the ballet we saw today through the Vivian behavior we find among our youth and the dysfunctional nature of our family structure and our communities. The rise in crime, abuses that we see, both of drugs and even of persons, can be traced to the fact that while we are having more and more graduates, we are not impacting enough on their behavior. Administration will also, effective administration, will also help us to manage the legal resources that are available to us in the sector more prudently and in a more accountable manner. So I will have an additional mileage from what we have and ensure that the current discussions within this system can be addressed. The unbridled competition for positions can also be minimized. And we can efficiently manage our institutions so that we can become globally competitive and we can restore the glory days of the Nigerian education sector. We are Madam and So I thank Madam President for this distinct honor. I want to pledge my support and cooperation, including that of the organization that I currently head. She did mention our role in research. We want to be able to partner with you in issues even around training. So we can extend training to various staff of institutions in the management side, in the planning side of the activities. And we also want to see how we can support you to spread the tentacles. I expect for anybody to rise to become the vice chancellor of our institution, for anybody to rise to be the principal of our institution. They have had one course or the other that they have done and have been required by this professional association.